Welcome to this video on sentence fragments. What is a complete sentence? Yes, I know, this video is about sentence fragments, but in order to understand what they are, we must begin by focusing on this statement. For a sentence to be truly complete, it must contain an independent clause, which tells the whole story even when isolated from its context. As you can see, you definitely need to know what a complete sentence is first. For example, here's one. I went to the grocery store. This sentence clearly expresses a complete idea and can stand alone without anything actually affecting its meaning. We know who is performing the action of going to the grocery store. In this case, I, also known as the subject of the sentence. And we know what action was performed, that is, going to the grocery store, and it is in the past tense. This part of the sentence is known as the predicate. What is an independent clause? You just learned that a sentence must contain an independent clause. And you may now wonder what an independent clause is. An independent clause is a group of words that contains a subject and a verb and expresses a complete thought. An independent clause is a sentence. Let's have another example to illustrate this point. See the sentence? Peter worked at his father's design store when he graduated from high school. In this case, Peter is the subject of the sentence because he's the one performing the action. Worked is the verb and it is in the past tense. And the verb worked, together with the rest of the sentence, make up the predicate. Worked at his father's design store when he graduated from high school. What is a subject? You already heard me say that a subject is needed for an independent clause or sentence. So, what is the subject? The subject of the sentence is what or whom the sentence is about. It is the performer or doer of the action expressed by the sentence itself. Consider the following sentence. The flower is growing under the window. The word flower is the subject of the sentence. You must bear in mind that a subject will always be a noun or a pronoun. So far, we have established that a complete sentence is an independent clause. An independent clause has a subject, that is, a noun or pronoun, and a verb, and makes full sense when it stands alone. Therefore, a complete sentence equals an independent clause. And an independent clause or sentence has a subject, which is a noun or a pronoun, and a verb, and or a verb and a predicate. And all this brings us to the topic at hand. What is a sentence fragment? Based on what we have discussed so far, a sentence fragment has no subject or a missing subject, as you prefer. For instance, worked at a design store after graduating from high school. The question you must ask yourselves here is, who worked at a design store after graduating from high school? By supplying a noun or a pronoun, the sentence will be complete. Here's the fixed sentence with the missing subject. See the different subject variations. James worked at a design store after graduating from high school. She worked at a design store after graduating from high school. He worked at a design store after graduating from high school. You also have a sentence fragment when you know the subject or who the sentence is about, but you do not know what else happened. That is, the predicate is missing. Or a verb is missing. Take a look. Although Amelia covered her mouth to cough. Someone to take care of the rest of the animals. All right. In the first sentence, Amelia is the subject. She did the right thing. She covered her mouth to cough. However, the conjunction, although, tells us that something else happened despite the fact that Amelia covered her mouth. But we do not know what that is. And that's the reason why this is a sentence fragment. Let's fix it. Now we are talking. We know what happened after Amelia coughed. The sentence now makes perfect sense. It's complete. Although Amelia covered her mouth to cough, some people still felt uncomfortable. But the second sentence also has a problem. The verb is missing. Let's add it. Done. Someone needs to take care of the rest of the animals. 
With this matter covered, let's fix some sentence fragments. Based on what you have learned today, you fix a sentence fragment by adding whatever element is missing from the sentence. If the sentence has no subject, add that subject. This sentence has no subject. Meeting you in the library this afternoon. Let's get to it and fix the problem. Here are some solutions. Julia will be meeting you in the library this afternoon. Your friend will be meeting you in the library this afternoon. The teacher will be meeting you in the library this afternoon. If the sentence has no verb and no predicate, add both, or whichever is missing. Look at the example, the merry judge. Now, for a couple of fixes. The merry judge spoke. I added a verb. The merry judge said that Peter had the gift of prophecy. I added a predicate. If there is a dependent clause, connect it to a nearby independent clause. Here's an example. It was quite common for ancient communities to be ruled by female leaders. The independent clause is, it was quite common. The dependent clause is, for ancient communities to be ruled by female leaders. This is a very easy fix. Let's get rid of the period after the word common. And let's lowercase the word, for. Done. Using sentence fragments on purpose. Sometimes, authors decide to use sentence fragments on purpose to make a point or to convey a message. Here are a few examples. A narrow escape. The sergeant rejoiced in having saved his platoon. Here, the author emphasizes that despite the present danger, escaping was accomplished and lives were not lost. I hate mice. Nasty, low, vulgar things. Here, the author tells us about three reasons they have to hate mice. They are nasty, low, and vulgar. I put my back against the wall. As quickly as possible. Here, the writer tells us about how fast their action was, probably to save their life or escape notice by someone they didn't want to encounter. The committee resorted to the same delaying tactics. As in previous cases. Here, the sentence fragment indicates that the same delaying tactics have been used before by the committee. So, there's nothing new to expect from this committee. Always the same story. Everyone was heavily armed to defend the fortress. Everyone but myself. Here, the author notes that they are the only person without a gun in that place. The next day I saw no pirates at all. Nor the following day. Nor two days after that nor ever. In this example, the three sentence fragments reveal or stress the point or fact that pirates were not seeing again at all. So, probably everyone felt safe for a long time or forever. But if that's not the case, if the author does not intend to use sentence fragments on purpose, you must watch out for some words that might raise red flags, such as because, especially, such as, and which is, and you can fix these errors by dropping the period at the end of each complete sentence and lowercasing the words. Because, especially, such as, and which is. So, what is a sentence fragment? To recap, a sentence is considered a fragment, not necessarily because of its length, usually short, but because it is missing. A subject. A verb a verb and a predicate together, or because it has incorrect punctuation. Here is an example of a very long sentence, which is a fragment nonetheless. Staying up until 3 in the morning to finish papers, eating cheap fast food, spending hours in the library looking for books to finish a project, eating cold pizza for breakfast, trying to remember everything the professor said about World War I in time for the test, ignoring friends, and leaving messages from parents unreturned during finals week. When I read this sentence I cannot help but notice that something seems to be missing. I just wonder what all these things noted in the sentence lead to. Let's revise. Staying up until 3 in the morning to finish papers, eating cheap fast food, spending hours in the library looking for books to finish a project, eating cold pizza for breakfast, 
trying to remember everything the professor said about World War I in time for the test, ignoring friends, and leaving messages from parents unreturned during finals week are some of the things that caused my fellow classmates and I overwhelming amounts of stress this semester. Now, the sentence fragment is gone and what's left makes perfect sense. For practice on sentence fragments, I strongly recommend visiting the webpage below. Or you can simply type this, www.chompchomp.com. Click on Exercises on the top menu. And click on the Fragments link a little further below. Enjoy finding and fixing sentence fragments. Well, this is a wrap up of this video on sentence fragments. Thanks for watching. <laughs>